Oh, we're trying to point again. It's be like a dead on dupe for me to say dupe. Hey guys, welcome back. So we've got a review and swatches video for y'all today on the Lorac Pro 3 palette. So I'm gonna do like I normally do in my review videos. We'll look at the packaging, we'll talk about pricing, I'll show you some swatches, we'll do some comparisons, and I'll just give you my overall thoughts and impressions and review on this palette. So let's jump into it. So the price on this palette is $44. I bought mine from Ulta during like an early release type thing for platinum members. And this is what the packaging looks like. So it's got this kind of like outside box. You do get a little eye primer and this is kind of a small, I think it's a smaller size. It's 5.5 grams. So as far as how much shadow you get, you get 16 eyeshadows that are a total net weight of 0.32 ounces or 8.8 .8 grams. I do like the box. I like that you can see like what you're getting in the actual palette. The palette itself looks just like the other pro palettes, except it's kind of like a tan, light, creamy sort of a color. It very much matches like the theme of this palette. So it's still, it's still got that like rubbery sort of packaging. So it'll probably get dirty, especially since it's a tan color, but it goes with the pro palette theme. So I like the packaging. So for the shadows that you get in this palette, it's the same situation as the other Lorac pro palettes. So you get one row of mattes and then one row of shimmers. If this one looks a little sad, it's because it came completely shattered and I tried to repair it and it's still sad looking. But anyway, you can still see the palette at least. So one row of mattes, one row of shimmers. So you can see it's just a very neutral palette and it's a pretty light neutral palette. Like I'd say, you know, to about this point, kind of like here over. It's just very light and neutral, but you do have some darker colors for kind of deepening up. You have good crease colors. You do have good brow bone colors. Um, like I said, you know, darker colors for deepening up your outer corner and crease. So you have a good variety, but overall it's a very light neutral palette and you do have the variety of mattes and shimmers. Now for some swatches. So we're going to start on this side over here. This is the top row of the palette, the mattes. This one is Blanc, Canvas, Cool Taupe, Pink Nude, Clay, Terracotta, then in the middle here we have Dark Brown and Jet Black. That's real Jet Black. That is pigmented and nice. Over here we have Light Gold. These are all really hard to see because they're close to my skin tone color. Almond Pearl, Medallion, Light Pewter, Amethyst, Rose Bronze, Dark Mocha, and truffle. So all really nice and pigmented. So you can see, like I mentioned, I mean, some of them are really close to my skin tone color, so they're not showing up really well, but they are still pigmented, really creamy and buttery, beautiful shades. And then comparing it to the other Lorac Pro palettes, the top one is the Lorac Pro 1, the middle one is the Pro 2, and the bottom one is the Pro 3. So you can see it's definitely more of a light neutral palette. Um, the middle one, where is it? Right there. The middle one was definitely like the most unique of the three, I feel like, the most colorful, you know, more cool toned, whereas the first one and the third one are more neutral and, I don't know, just more warm tones in there. There are a couple of cool tones, but overall more warm toned. But you definitely get a good variety, but you have a lot of neutrals in all three palettes. And then compared to the unzipped palette, so the original is on the top here, and then the unzipped gold is in the middle there where my pinky's trying to point. It really looks like it goes well with these. Like it almost seems like it matches these more so than the pro palettes, just because it's got like that very neutral, metallic sort of a feel to it. I would say, in my opinion, it looks closest to the original unzipped, more so than the unzipped gold, because Oh, we're trying to point again because the unzipped gold is more like warm golden tones versus more champagne rose gold sort of shades like the unzipped and the pro three but really you could combine these all together and make one really pretty big metallic neutral palette but as far as dupes go and really similar shades i was kind of shocked to not really find any i mean of course i could have like compared some of the browns you know but I could have compared that to probably a lot of different browns. You probably have that sort of a brown color or at least something close to that in a lot of your palettes in your collection. So something like that, 
Yes, they get a little bit close, but not super duper close. Now you guys know I'm like crazy when it comes to saying dupes. I mean, it has to be really, really close for me to say it's a dupe. It has to be like dead on. It has to be like a dead on dupe for me to say dupe. But even to say similar, I didn't find really any that I would say were super similar, enough so that I would wanna show them to you and say, hey, these look really close. So anyway, I was really impressed with that to find that they did a good job, in my opinion, of picking really unique neutral shadows, like just ones that are still, they look like they would be easily dupable, but I couldn't really find any, at least not in these palettes. The formula is exactly the same as the other Lorac Pro palettes, so if you like the other Lorac Pro palettes and that type of a formula, you'll really like this one as well. I've mentioned a bajillion times, it's not my personal favorite formula because they're very soft, they're extremely pigmented, but holy moly, they get everywhere. I mean, they have powdery kick up in the pan, they get all over my face, I just have to clean up after and have to be really careful when I'm blending because I'm an over blender so my eye looks can get really muddy with the pro palettes but it's really just a personal preference if you like this sort of formula I know so many people love it so if you love the formula of the first two pro palettes you will really like this one as well overall what do I think about this palette you know I like it these are the people I think would really, really love this palette. If you like the Pro Shadow formula, I think you'll really like the formula on this because it's exactly the same. You have to be looking for that great, everyday, neutral, very appropriate sort of palette. I feel like this would be a go-to for school, for work, just something that you don't want to look overdone. Now today I, I did use more of the like darker shadows, so I kind of made a more dramatic eye look. But really, I mean, if I concentrated on these sort of colors over here, it would be very, very subdued and just very neutral and light makeup. So if you're looking for something like that, I think this would be a great palette for that. So you have to love the pro shadow formula to like this palette, and you have to be looking for that nice, neutral, lighter sort of palette. Of course, take into consideration your skin tone and how these will show up. If you have a deeper skin tone, these will show up more on you. These are you know, really close to my skin tone color. But if you have a deeper complexion, it'll show up a little bit more on you. So take that into consideration, but all those considered, if you like the Pro Palette formula, if you're looking for a neutral everyday palette, I do think you would enjoy this one. All right guys, so that wraps up this review. So I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you think about this palette, if you've tried it, or if you're excited about it, what are some of your favorite shades from the palette, I just always love hearing your thoughts and opinions. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.